Okay, so this is your basic pressure pot setup. This is a two and a half gallon Harbor Freight paint pot. It's uh, it's capped here. The inside tube is taken off. Mm -hmm. It's got a diverter to push the air off to the side. It's got a quick release here. This is where your air goes in. Simply snaps on. Quick release here to go to the second pr pressure pot. It's got your uh, pressure dial. You never want to go past 80 PSI. And it's got a quick release and emergency blow off valve. You adjust your pressure here and of course lock it with these. And that's all there is to it. You adjust the pressure with this here or on your uh, air compressor. Mm -hmm. You never want to go past 80. 80 PSI. Most of them, the blow off valve will go off before it explodes. What we're going to do right now is cast a space zombie. Uh, this space zombie is titled Titan, and he has done so because of his size. This is Titan. He's held together with magnets. He's cast in Smooth Cast 326 and 305 depending on what color I do and this one's done in 326 made by Smooth On Incorporated. Okay. Smooth, Smooth On resin comes in containers like this or containers like this. If you have two containers the same color you're in trouble. Distinguished by the different colors of course. This is part B. When you are casting in color Always tint part B first. This is mixed in equal parts. That's good. Part B and part A are mixed equally. So two ounces of part A, two ounces of part B. Any more, any less, you affect the curing time and possibly we'll have a goopy mess. We're going to opacate the uh, resin using uh, uh, So Strong Pigments by Smooth On and Ignite Pigments by Smooth On. For this one, we're making a glow in the dark figure, but the glow, in the, the glow effect will be created by using a paint because the figure is so large we cannot use glow in the dark pigment in the resin, just too expensive. And the reason I'm using 326 for this instead of 305 is because 326 takes an hour to cure. 325, uh, sorry, 326 takes an hour to cure. 305 sets up in about seven minutes. You want to mix it quickly, but not so quick that you put bubbles in it. Although that's not overly critical because you're going to put it in a pressure pot and the pressure pot will remove the bubbles. And that's pretty much the color you're going to have. There we go. Next we'll add part part A and then we'll start pouring our molds. Pouring resin, it's important that you have lots of vents. We'll go into that in a future video. Especially with complex sculptures like this. And as you can see, this one has uh, five vents. Sorry, four vents, one pour hole.
once you've mixed your resin you want to pour as efficiently and as quickly as possible because it, the longer you take the more likely it will set up you want to pour in a steady stream but not a heavy stream and then you want to just watch for it to come up to its level And then I put the connect the hose and power it up to about 40 psi. It's gonna be loud. This is the finished product. This one needs a new magnet. <laughs> 